Jacob hung out once because he saw me out outside of the library on campus. He was like, oh, what's up? Like, what you doing after class and all this stuff? And I was like, nothing really. Hanging out with my girls. That's it. And he was like, oh, you want to come through and hang out? I was like, okay, we can. And so, um... Yeah, you remember It from the last story? Yeah, so It got a ticket on campus. And so she went home. She was like, I can't. I'm stressed. So she went home. And I, and so I went and hung out with Bacon. I was just like, what's up, Bacon? We can hang out. And so Bacon, when I went over there, he was like, we was chilling. We was vibing. We was like listening to music and talking and stuff. And we was just vibing. And yeah, so... Bacon started to try to kiss on my neck. Oh, like, you are not finna do this. We're not finna do this. Why? 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 Why can't we just be homies? Why? Like, God, do not be wanting to be homies. Like, you could try to do that homie card all, all day. If they think you cute, ain't no homie, man. Ain't no homie. Because they, they don't believe in that when you cute, okay? I don't know why. See, that's, that's, that's why I like Blurp, because he go with being homies. And I told her about it, but when I got back to the room, and she was just like, she was like, really? 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 But she wasn't mad at me at the time. So, fast forward to spring break. So, spring break, you know, um, Bacon already did what he did. So, she was really not, she didn't even say really nothing about it. So, spring break, I'm over at my grandma's house. I'm sleeping peacefully, and Bacon and his friends, Bacon, nigga number four, they all hung out. Nigga number four, Odell Beckham, they all hung out. They was all in the same group. So, they called me, and they was like, hey, we having a party. Like, we want you to come through, and I was just like, okay, give me the address. Because I was asleep, so I was just like, okay, give me the address. So, they sent me the address, and... I called her, I was like, hey, they having a party, they want me to come through, I'm just going to give you the address, because I don't feel like it. So, I gave her the address, she was like, well, me and my friends can't go, because this one got to work, this one, da 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 she went down the line, and I was just like, okay, and I went back to sleep, because I wasn't going, so, I don't care. So, she texted me this long paragraph. She she basically was saying that every guy she talked to, I try to get with. How sway? You had I forgot what I named him in the last one. You had bitch. You had laptop. You had the dog. You had Julian. If I was trying to take every guy you wanted, it's just certain guys like me. Even laptop still like laptop comments on my Instagram photos. So. Me trying to take niggas how that it's just that I'm on a different vibe than you. They dig me. Like, can't help that I'm cute. I can't help that I'm, like, popping. I can't help that I know how to dress and laptop likes it. I can't help that I'm cute and bacon want to hit. I can't help that my hair is, like, basically just like Odell Beckham's. And Odell Beckham want to, like, play in my hair. I'm just on a different vibe. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take your guys. I'm really not trying to be on that vibe at all. I really don't care to be on that vibe. We got into it basically. So the whole spring break, we were not talking. The whole spring break. So when we got back to the room, I was there first. And I was just chilling. And she came back. And we really didn't speak for like a whole month. So a week before like, like April 25th or something. Around that. Like around the end of April. Basically, my makeup started going missing. Like, my concealer that I used every day went missing. And then, like, one day I was, like, getting ready to go hang out with Bacon again. Because we just, we, like, we established that we weren't on that tip. So, he just was like, I'm not going to do it no more. We can just hang out. So, I was going to go and hang out with Bacon. And I look over on her side, and my jacket is over there. Oh, this is the jacket. This is, like, my little favorite thing to wear on campus because you can wear it in any weather, right? So, I will wear this at least once a week. So, I went in the pocket, and I was like, if this thread is like this in that pocket, this is my jacket. Because I did this. I remember when I was in class picking at this in my pocket, and it broke. So I was like, if this is like this, that's my jacket. Went in the pocket, 
it was my jacket. So basically when she woke up, I was like, can you, like, can we talk right quick? I was like, it's almost close to us leaving. Don't touch my stuff. I would like it if you didn't touch my stuff because that's disrespectful and I respect your stuff by not touching it. So don't touch my things. And she was like, I didn't touch your stuff. Why are you lying? Why are you lying like you didn't touch my stuff? Tell me I don't have no reason to touch your stuff. Really? Try me sway. Try me sway. Try me sway because you ain't got the answers to this ass whooping you're going to get. You ain't got the answers. So, I was like, okay. So, after she lied, I was just like, okay, I see that you're still the same person. So, basically, I'm going to tell you, just don't touch my stuff. I don't care. It don't make sense for it to be on your side with you, without you touching it. Either you touched it or one of your friends touched it. She like flipped around. She was really disrespectful, y'all. She thought she couldn't get her ass beat. But <laughs> she could still get her ass beat. But, um, so after she did that, she went in the shower. And I called my friend, um, Positive. Because we gonna call her Positive because she always positive. Thank you, Lord, for a friend like that. Because I need somebody who always positive. I need about somebody who always ready to throw shade. Because, you know, I got goddess and positive for those things exactly. Because they're my little grace, you know? So, <laughs> so I basically called positive me and positive talk. <laughs> me and positive talk. Sorry, my mom is watching one of my videos right now. But me and positive was talking and, um... She was like, I can come get you. So I went and hung out with Positive. And we were like kicking it or whatever. And so, um, she, she came and got me. And I came back to the room about like two, one hour, one hour or two hours later. And she was in there talking smack on the phone, talking about how I was saying she was disrespecting my stuff. And, and we into it about disrespect. And didn't you disrespect me? Don't talk to me about disrespect. And she was, like, basically calling me a scary-ass bitch, saying I didn't fight her. I wasn't going to do anything. And this, that, and other. So I unlocked the door. She got instantly, as soon as I put the key in, she stopped talking. I'm, I'm literally y'all. She's scary as hell. But she be trying to act like, we ain't even going to talk about it. You really think. That she be on that fight, girl. If she was really, if she really was mad, if she really wanted to fight me, if she really thought she could win, she would freaking run up on me because she got the problem. I ain't got a problem with you. I ain't got a problem with you. And every time I do, I approach you about it. So what's good? If you really want to fight, you would have been like, what's good? Rock with me. You a scary bitch. That proves you a scary bitch. So I walk in the room. As soon as I put the key in, she stopped talking. So I walk in the room, I'm like, so since I'm such a scary bitch, what's popping? Rock with me. She was like, girl, I'm not finna to you, da 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 Her friend on the phone, like, being quiet now. And I'm like, rock with me. You wanna, you wanna talk shit? You a bum-ass bitch. You stole my shit, first of all. Cause I, oh, let me tell you, I got my concealer back after Joy. That's when I called positive because I was, like, so pissed. So... I told her, rock with me. You want to you wanna talk smack on the phone? Show them what you really about. You can't talk smack about somebody if you're not even willing to rock with them. You can't. Like, if you ain't willing to fight, don't talk smack. Shut up. Why are you talking smack if you ain't going to fight nobody? Jesus. Because I guess she thought, if I say I'm mad and I really want to fight somebody, that means I'm not going to fight them. So she ain't rock with me. So basically, we're going to skip. We're going to fast forward. I basically just told somebody they got me a room change. I moved out. Um, so I stayed in, like, my own room for, like, two weeks until it was time for me to go. And on the last day, this is how I knew it was just done. I was finished getting all my stuff from upstairs. And she was downstairs. Fuck. Fuck this drama. Fuck drama. It ain't nothing but negative energy. I don't like it. It stresses me out. I'm not good with it at all. Because all I want to do is fight people. All I want to do is fight people. Because my mindset, like, I know I've grown because I, I don't just fight people. But when you just want to fight people, you know your mindset is just middle school. And I'm sorry, that's the favorite. That's my favorite thing to say right now. But you know your mindset is just middle school. Because that's what I did in middle school. I just fought people. So when, I situation, when a situation go down and I don't approach it immediately... I just want to fight people. 
So that's why when something go down, I confront people about it. I'd be like, what's good? But certain people I'm not going to confront. You're just not worth it. And I already confronted you before, and it just didn't turn out right. They just, they just want everything in your life to be about them. I seriously think that, and I seriously believe it, and I don't even care if you don't believe it. I believe it, and that's all that matters. So that was when I knew that I was done because she was downstairs and she just looked at me and she was with her friend. Well, when I was walking down the hallway, I saw her friend. And I was just like, I bet she's right behind this bitch, but okay. So as soon as I saw her, I was like, yeah, and this is how I know I'm done. So that was the end of the story. We really didn't, we didn't fight. She um tried to act like she was going to fight, but she didn't fight me. So just a whole bunch of nonsense she just irritate my soul that's what she really do so um yeah but yeah thanks for watching hit that like hit that subscribe hit that share share it on twitter share it on twitter that's love and all i live for is love you know we're gonna be out we're gonna be out we're gonna be out we're gonna be out oh i wonder what song i'm gonna use for this game but we're gonna be out